Hey guys, it's a stormy night here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and uh, this is a snazzy iPhone hacker coming at you today with a very, very big must-have app location called Categories. Okay, now a lot of um, a lot of people don't know about this application, and I'm appalled because, quite frankly, I don't think I'd be able to go two days without this. I use it all the time. It's called Categories, okay? So it organizes, and now I'm a little disorganized right now, but it organizes anything you want, all your icons, all your applications into folders. Now you see those right there, games, utilities, music, miscellaneous. Those are all part of Categories. So when I want to go open Cydia, click Utilities, the loading page pops up, and I mean, this is great for me because I have 95 applications or more. I don't even know. I have a ton. I probably have more than that. I bet you I have over 120 applications. And you could imagine that that gets a little bit hard to maintain, to flip through all your pages, to find them to go nine times to get to the app you want, to remember where the crap all your apps are. So this is a very good way to organize it. Now, uh, so I don't... Oh, there we go, Cydia. So it's simple. It's just a menu. You click it, and the op and the app launches. There's only one complaint I have: the menus are a little bit slow to load when you click the folder. But in a few days, I will show you another app called Quick Gold that solves that problem right away. But what I use this for essentially is to get all my apps into folders so that I have two screens. You know, I have my main applications, like it comes as you get it four folders, utilities, games, music, and miscellaneous, and then my eight websites that I regularly visit. And that's it, you know? So it's very, very useful to have. All you have to do is search categories. It's under the default repository in Cydia. Since I've already downloaded it, it's under manage. Oops, that's weird. I'm going to sneeze, guys. Nope. <coughs> yep. Excuse me. Wow, that was weird. Okay. Come on, Cydia. Get up. Giddy up, dog. One thing I've noticed is although Cydia is much better, there's more packages in Cydia, is the standard. Wow, that is freaking weird. Get out of there. We'll just leave it there. Let's see. Categories. There you go. Move your springboard icons into folders. Although I have noticed that Cydia is has more resources and more repos, it's slower. It's slower to load, there's no queue. I like the interface of installer better, quite frankly. The mixture between the two, if I could redesign it, I'd take the settings, the way it's designed, all the categories from Cydia, and then uh, all the sources, all the source management from Cydia, and then have the download queue, the search, and everything else from installer, because I don't know, it just looks better. Anyway, okay. Enough of my rant between the two. Now we are going to go to categories. So it'll come once you install it. It's going to ask you to restart your springboard. It's going to pop up as an icon. Now I've thrown the actual icon into a folder. So I'm just going to use quick gold here to get it up. There we go. Categories. Put your apps into folders. The irony. Okay, so you can then add, edit, and delete folders. So let's say I wanted to create a new folder called LOL Cats. Why you'd have a folder filled with apps of LOL Cats, I don't know, but you may be a freak and uh, you may want that. So it loads all the icons and it has a huge icon library you can choose from for the picture your file goes. See now, games is games, tools is utilities, music is music, and miscellaneous is miscellaneous. Okay, so there you go. There's normal looking icons and then there's these folders. I prefer the folders, but it's whatever you want. There's also other really cool icons and then there's some that aren't even really related. I guess they all are related somehow. Let's do this bearer because that's kind of like a cat. Okay, so you choose it and there you go. You got LOL cats. And then I can go and push add. I add all the icons, uh oh force quit. That's one thing I do not like about it. When you're setting it up, you may have some problems. My phone has force quit this application more than once. And since it force quit, it is now restarting the springboard. Oh, come on. 
It's not very good during demonstration. It's true though. It's a little bit buggy, you know. Um, there's going to be instances, there's going to be times where that happens. Just quits on you and you're screwed. So I'm not a fan of that. One time one person asked me, hey, in safe mode can you use categories? Because you can't use stuff like quick, quick gold SB settings, which I use every day. But yeah, the folders still work, they still open, you're still good. One thing to be careful of, read the manual before you do it because there's some things that happen. First time I did it, it said read the manual. Oh my gosh. We're just going to leave it in safe mode and uh, open this utilities folder. I think I threw categories in there. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's just it just depends what you want to use it for. Oh, okay, so I was telling you how it's bad that, uh, hold on, let me find this. Can't talk and look at the same time. There we go. Okay, so uh, I said that blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, read the manual before you play around with it because if you edit and delete, oh my gosh. Okay, I understand. If you delete a game with a full, oh yeah, see I have well over 100 apps. 80 games, 35 utilities, 12 music, 23, I have over 100 and I don't, know, I don't even want to do the math. Over almost 200, almost 150 apps. Anyways, maybe more, I don't care, don't. Someone else do the math for me because I don't want to do it. Um, oh yeah, so let's say you go and you delete the games folder. From what I understand, every game inside that folder is also deleted. That would suck. So you got to be careful of what you're doing, you know, just pay attention. Okay, so we're going to add an application to LOL Cats. Okay, here we go. Let's say we want to move, um, I don't know, iWebKit in there. All right, you click done, done, and then you can push restart springboard or uh, the home button, either one, and it relaunches your springboard. Okay intuitive enough. The settings are then applied and you are good to roll, man. So this is really useful. I mean, if there's 16 icons, 4, 8, 12, yeah, 16 4x4 four four icons on each page, or is it 4x5? I don't remember. It's 4x4. Four four. So if there's 4x4 four four icons on each page, that's 16 icons. What happens when you have 130 apps? I don't even know if you can go past 10 pages. So, you know, this is really, really useful, really neat to have. So I highly recommend it. It's free. It's in Cydia. It's called Categories. Uh, categorize your apps. Very, very useful, intuitive application. I use it every day, although I don't think about it. And it's one of those things where I couldn't go a day without it. So check it out, guys. Categories in Cydia. Now, before you, I let you go, we're going to make sure this worked. Okay, we're back in uh, regular mode because... Uh, sorry. Okay, come on now, come on. Consequences jailbreaking, guys, I tell you. Okay, here we go. So there you go, LOL cats, there's our folder that we titled. We open it up, loading, and in the top left corner, there should be our application iWebKit. Great, so it worked. That's it, simple but effective. Categories. Oh, one more thing, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you can control your categories from inside your folders. So when you have long folders, you can uh, say, do I want the folder title there? Do I want the icon labels? Do I want a background? That's, that's kind of cool, you know, if you want them to match your theme. I don't really care, but um, left and right scroll. Do you want it to scroll left and right or up and down? I prefer left and right, but whatever. Icons theme, uh, you can take different themes for your icons to make them match, okay? So uh, you can go, oh, all of my icons, I want them to match this winter board theme. Very nice feature, it's new in the updated one. And then you can change your color font of your icons. So it's all very cool, very customizable, and uh, I highly recommend it. Categories guys in Cydia. Thank you, and as always, Dwight says, stay snazzy.